Hello everybody, my name is Jeff. I recently returned from a six month deployment to Qatar with the Air Force. And if any of you have family members in the military or know people in the military, they can definitely attest to the fact that you get really bored overseas. So when you're really bored and you have access to the internet and you like video games as much as I do, and yes, I did say video games because that's what all the cool kids say, uh, you end up buying a bunch of stuff. So uh, I had a bunch of boxes piling up waiting for me whenever I got back. Um, I was keeping in touch with a lot of people on Facebook and they're saying that they're interested in seeing my reaction to everything. So I figured I'd take you through an unboxing because I can't remember a lot of the stuff, so uh, it'd be kind of fun. And I'll try to make it as interesting as possible. I have something like 83 boxes to, to go through last time I counted. Um, and I have about just as many bubble mailers underneath this table. I had something like 212 different video games last time I, uh, I added to my list. So that is not accurate anymore because I've been buying stuff since I've been back. Because of course I have. So... Other than uh, not shaving, this is one of the biggest things that I've been looking forward to getting home, other than seeing family, of course, because I miss them to death. So uh, I'll try to, like I said, make this interesting. It'll probably be a multi-part video, and I'll try not to get too uh, talkative while I'm going through everything. But I'm also really excited, and I'm hyped up on coffee right now. So here we go. All right, guys. So the first thing I have to show you is my Gorilla Trunk. And when I wasn't buying games online, I was actually buying games out in town, which may surprise some of you because you're probably thinking, hey, when you're deployed over to the Middle East, what exactly can you hope to find as far as video game stores go? Well, I was pleasantly surprised because Qatar actually has a series of stores called Secor. And Secor is basically the equivalent to what we have here in the States with FYE. So I hit up about every Secor I could find in downtown Doha because they carried a lot of North American region video games. And there mustn't be a very big demand for these games because they were all in discount bins. So I was able to buy up all sorts of video games and just had an absolute blast. Came back every week with dozens and dozens of video games. Drove the people I was with absolutely crazy. They thought I was crazy, uh, but it was a lot of fun. So uh, I'll take you guys through this trunk. Uh, just a heads up though, the first like 12 or so games that I get through, are all games that I bought recently since I've been back. I haven't been able to get out a whole lot, but I was able to find some pretty good uh, video games, at least to me. So I'll take you through that, and hopefully this is exciting, or interesting at least, because a lot of these games are just all open. It's not going to be a surprise to me what I bought, um, and I'll just be pulling them up and showing you guys. So here we go. All right, so the first thing up is the largest item on top. Might as well get this out of the way. I was able to find the collector's edition of The Last Guardian. Um, I found this at Half Price Books, and I know a lot of you don't really like Half Price Books because they end up uh, jacking up their prices quite a bit for a lot of video games. Uh, they had this for $150. I thought that was pretty steep, so I let it go. I uh, came back a couple days later, and they had it discounted by about half. So I was able to pick it up. It's complete. Uh, it's in really good shape. I've been wanting to play this game for a while, so I'm really excited to have this one in my collection. Next thing up, I was able to get uh, Record of Aguirre's War 2. Been a big fan of the series, especially back on the 360. It's one of the few RPG games that was available for that console. Always wanted to play number two. I know it didn't get as very good reviews as the other games, but I thought I'd check it out, especially being cheap. Also picked up Martian Gothic for the PS1. I'm always kind of interested in old school PS1 horror games. I'm not a big horror game fan overall, but this one kind of piqued my interest, especially for the price. I was able to find The Getaway for the PS2. Uh, you know, older GTA knockoff. I uh, wish they would have continued this series because uh, a friend of mine played back in the day. He really liked it. be kind of interested to see what they do with it now, but I was able to find this one at uh, Goodwill. Jaeger for the Xbox. Gun Gun Pixies. Don't judge me too much. I know this is not a very good game. I'm kind of a weeb, so it was hard to pass this one up, and I love collecting games, especially in these larger boxes. Recently started collecting for the Switch because I bought it right before I deployed, took it over with me. Had an absolute blast playing that thing. It's probably the only reason I kept my sanity, to be honest. So, Gun Gun Pixies. Probably won't end up playing it, to be honest. I'll just keep it in its plastic, put it on my shelf. And then whenever people come by and give me that judgmental look, I can say, hey, it's still wrapped. I haven't played it yet, so... That's my defense. Uh, Code Vein. GameStop was having a sale on this, so I decided to pick it up. A friend of mine has been streaming this on Twitch. It looked really interesting. The character creation looked really good. So I thought I'd check this one out. And GameStop had a pretty good price for it. 
the Uncharted collection because I've never played these games before. So I figured, hey, what uh, what's the best way to start? Well, probably on the PS4 for the uh, remastered collection here, and you get all the games other than uh, 4 onward. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. Beyond Good and Evil, I have this remastered for the 360 on the arcade. I'm playing it on there. But I figured I'd pick up the original, especially for a good price, because I know this one's getting a little harder to find. Seek and Destroy, because who doesn't like giant tank battle games for the PS2? Hurdy Gurdy, probably not going to be good. It looks interesting. RPG Maker 2, a friend of mine is really into the RPG Maker series, so I thought I'd pick this one up. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have the manual, and I didn't realize that until after I bought the game, so I'm probably going to be trying to track down a manual for this one, or... Just buying the game again with the manual will probably be cheaper because people end up charging a lot for the manuals um, on eBay. Guilty Gear X2. I've never actually played a Guilty Gear game other than uh, Cross Tag Battle uh, for the Switch. Picked that one up recently. Ephemeral Fantasia. This is one of those uh, PS2 RPG games that interested me and it does not fetch a lot on the secondhand market. So I was like, oh, might as well pick this one up. I really like obscure RPGs, so I thought I'd get this one. Windjammers. Pick this one up at Best Buy with another game. Uh, this is a limited run release. Best Buy actually carries a lot of their games, uh, so I thought I'd pick this one up. It's a really fun a Neo Geo game. It's a battle frisbee game. I had a lot of fun playing this one with friends and family. Blaze Blue, Cross Tag Battle. This was the other game I picked up at Best Buy. Had a lot of fun uh, playing this one so far. I picked up all the DLC for it. I'm a big Ruby fan. Uh, so that's kind of what sold me on this game. My brother's a big Persona fan, so I thought, hey, we would both like playing as those uh, respective rosters. So uh, this one's a lot of fun. It's my first Blaze Blue game. ZHP Unlosing Ranger versus Dark Death Evil Man. Uh, I'd be lying if I said that I didn't pick this one up based on the name alone. Uh, this is a game that I've been actually trying to pick up for the uh, the PSP for quite a while, and every time I find it, it's always just the UMD, or it's the game without the. Uh, the instruction manual. So thankfully this game is complete and it's in really good shape and it was for a pretty good price. Shout out to Maple Bar Games here in University Place. They were able to hook me up with this one. I was really happy to find this. Arrow Fighters Assault. I don't know if this game's any good. This is one of those games I see for N64 that's just dirt cheap everywhere I find it. They're always beat to heck. 1942. Uh, Really love playing these games in the arcade. I know the uh, Famicom and NES versions are a lot different, but this is actually my first Famicom game that I picked up. Uh, I have one of the um, Super 8 uh, Super Nintendo adapters that allows me to play Famicom cartridges. So I thought I'd try it out, pick up this game, see if it's any good. The Logitech Wingman. I don't have an older PC, so I wouldn't be able to use this, but I have a thing for collecting controllers, especially controllers complete in the box. And whenever they're cheap, I always try to pick up some. I have a huge controller collection. I kind of have what I would say is an unhealthy obsession with video game controllers. I collect all sorts. The more unique, the better. It's pretty fun to collect them. I like seeing that evolution of video game controllers and the, like I said, the, the more obscure and the more weird, the better. So, uh, that's proper English, right? More weird. Secret Agent Clink. I've actually never played a Ratchet & Clink game other than the remake for the PS4. So, I found this. It's still brand new in the plastic. Uh, this is one of the PSP titles in the series. It was uh, also ported to the PS2, so I'm interested in checking this one out. Um, I think it's also one of the Jack & Daxter games that got made for the PSP and then also made for the PS2. Never played any of those ones that were PSP focused games made for the PS2, so I'm kind of interested to see how the controls are going to translate with the addition of a second joystick. Trauma Center, second opinion. So, uh, I have also. Re well, no, I played one other game in the Trauma Center series. It was the other one for the Wii um, that I'm not thinking of the, the title of. But anyway, uh, I had a lot of fun with it, so I thought I'd collect the rest of the games in the series. Need to get the DS titles that started the series, but. Uh, Found this one for a good price. God of War Origins. So this is actually the PSP entries into the series that they made for PS3. I've also never played a God of War game, so I thought I'd pick this one up. And then they also have the collection that I will get at some point in time. Mugen Souls Z. So I have the first entry on the PS3, and this was a later title um, that I actually didn't even know existed. So I found this one, thought I'd pick it up. 
add it to the collection. I will get to it at some point because my RPG backlog is ginormous. R-Type Final. Not actually a huge R-Type fan, but found this one. It's in really good shape. Uh, thought I'd play it. Uh, it's mainly just because the games are so hard and they kick my butt. And I'm, um, Other than Dark Souls, I'd say. I'm not a big fan of difficult games. Um, Dark Souls, more to do with the world building than anything that uh, keeps me interested. Blood Omen 2. Never played any of the Blood Omen games. Alright, so that about does it for recent purchases. Now we're going to move on to the games I was able to acquire over in Qatar. I'll try to speed this one up unless there's something like super interesting that... Uh, uh, I come across. Complete in-box Nintendo DSi. I believe this is an Asian exclusive. This one's marked Singapore, but I believe this one is usually sold in stores as a Japanese exclusive color. Lime green. Uh, unfortunately, the seals have been cut on the box, so it's not unopened. Uh, I'm going to set that one on my shelf. I'm trying to collect a bunch of the uh, Nintendo handhelds, so that one's going to look really good on my shelf. Poppin' music for the Wii. Don't know if it's going to be any good. Dark Star 1. It's really hard to find this one with the sleeve intact. Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. I've never played a Monster Hunter game before. A friend of mine, uh, who's my roommate, he's a big uh, Monster Hunter fan, so I thought I'd start getting into the series. Rodia the Sky Soldier. This one is an NIS America game, and I've been actually collecting a lot of their games recently, so I thought I'd add this one. Um, I think this one's probably going to be ported to the Switch before too long. Wind Waker HD. Have this one digitally. Figured I'd pick up a physical copy, keep the plastic, set it on my shelf. I'm a big Zelda fan, so. Shantae. Half Genie Hero. I've never played a Shantae game. That's going to be kind of a reoccurring comment that I'm going to be making here because there are a lot of video games out there and I can't play them all, but Shantae I've heard is really good. I have a friend of mine uh, who's a big Shantae fan. So I figured I'd pick this one up, and I was able to find another copy of it. Star Fox Zero. I know this game is not very good, but I'm a big Star Fox fan, and they had it cheap. Atelier Sophie. I hope I said that right. I've never played a game in the series, and all of them have really hard to pronounce uh, names. Torment. Tides of Numenera. This is one that we got here in the States, but we never got the collector's edition. This was actually a UK exclusive, and they were selling it over there, and they were giving this thing away for 15 bucks, which is really surprising because this actually goes for quite a bit on eBay. Not that I'm looking to, to sell this because I want to keep it, but I just thought that was kind of interesting. Wild Arms for the PSP. This was probably one of the most valuable games that I was able to pick up over there. Um, I've been trying to collect the Wild Arms games. Uh, this is the XF entry. Uh, these games tend to go for quite a bit, so I was really happy to find this one. Uh, looking forward to playing it. Monster Hunter Generations. Harvest Moon, The Lost Valley. River City Super Sports Challenge. Squishy Tank. It's a tank that's squishy. Tom Clancy's End War. Jagged Alliance. Puzzle Kingdoms. Puzzle Quest 2. Poochie Poochie Virus. I know there's a Corona joke in here somewhere. Flower, Sun, and Rain. Murder and Mystery in Paradise. How could I pass that up? Dawn of Heroes. Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate. Harvest Moon, Sky Tree Village, Fire Emblem Fates, Conquest. This one I was really happy to find because these still haven't gone down in price. Robocalypse. The DS actually had a number of real-time strategy games released for it because, hey, Silas equals mouse equals real-time strategy games, I guess. Tekken Hybrid, Limited Edition. In the interest of speeding things up, I'm going to start doing some of these games in bulk. Three copies of Steambot Chronicles Battle Tournament. Mitrin Wars, Deadhead Fred, What Did I Do to Deserve This My Lord 2, love that title, EA Replay, Neverland Carved Battles, two copies of Dragoneer's Aria, two copies of Aegis Eclipse, Dragon Maker, Hunting Ground, Riviera, and Alien Syndrome, two copies of Half Minute Hero, two copies of R-Type Command, Steel Horizon, Dungeon Explorers, Warriors of Ancient Arts, Final Armada, Fantasy Star Portable, Untold Legends, Coded Arms Contagion, Undead Knights, Yggdra Union, hope I said that right, Beautiful Joe, Red Hot Rumble, Cold Sep Saga, 
Armored Core 5. Command & Conquer 3 King's Wrath. I love the Command & Conquer games. I've been trying to collect all of them brand new in the plastic so I can display all my Command & Conquer games. So I was really excited about this. Got it also with Command & Conquer 3. Darksiders Collection. Never played a Darksiders game. Spectral Force 3, one of the few RPGs on the 360. Project Sylphie. Stranglehold, Collector's Edition, and it has something like almost jutting out of the back of the plastic here, because I think there's a lot of stuff crammed in this case. Blaze Blue, Quantum Shift Extend. Wartech, Deathmark, Limited Edition. I've seen a lot of people online picking this up recently, at least in the collector's community, because this game is like dirt cheap now. Uh, I was able to pick it up for dirt cheap as well over in Qatar, uh, so, I'm interested in checking this one out. I don't know if that's due to quantity or just there weren't a lot of people buying it. Atelier Rorana. Got two copies. And then I came home and checked my own collection, found I already had it, so both of these are up for grabs. Wild Guns Reloaded. Helldivers. God Wars. Future Past. Ages of Earth. Under Defeat. Is able to get three copies. This is one of those Dreamcast remake games for the PS3. Really hard to find, and when you do find it's really expensive. So, I'll keep a copy, and I'm going to be trading or selling the other two. Also got ooh, Fighting Climax 2, Dengeki Banku. I'm a big anime fan, but I always end up butchering these names. Lost Dimension. Guilty Gear, Third Sign, I think. Disgaea 3, Absence of Justice. X-Blaze, Code Embryo. And Red Faction Complete. Mugen Souls. I already have this one, actually, so I'll probably sell this one. Guilty Gear X2 Overture. Dragon's Dogma, one of my all-time favorite games, so I was really happy to find this one complete in plastic. Not that this one goes for a lot online, but I figured I'd buy it. Binary Domain. Kind of a cheap game, but I don't find this one as often, so I picked this one up. Fear Files, because I actually prefer Fear on the console as opposed to the, uh, as opposed to the PC. I can talk. Uh, so thought that one would be kind of fun to pick up. Sold my copy years ago. Zoid's Assault. Wolfenstein. Never played this entry. Raiden 4. I was happy to pick this one up. The Raiden games actually go for a lot, so this was one that I was happy to find still in the plastic. Akai Katana. Operation Darkness. Because this is one of those games that you can pick up at GameStop for like five bucks or used to. Uh, and now it fetches a heck of a lot of money. My brother and I were able to pick up a copy years back for really cheap. And it's just skyrocketed in value, so I picked up three copies to trade or sell to people. And uh, hopefully they'll be able to play it without paying eBay prices. Serious Sam Collection. Dragon Blade. Wrath of Fire. Oto Medius. Excellent. Another shoot em up on the 360. Sama de Amigo. Wacky Races. Octomania. The Skycrawlers. Innocent Aces. If you haven't seen the movie that this is based off, it's excellent, but it's also really slow and kind of boring. But I love it to death. Got beautiful animation. Anyway, they made a side story, sequel, prequel, I'm not really sure, to the uh, the movie. So I really like this one. I actually already have a copy. I just bought another one. Don't really know why. Super Swing Golf. Gunblade. New York and LA Machine Guns. This is the arcade hits pack. I have three copies of this. I've actually already sold one of my copies to a member of a local collecting group, so I'm looking to offload the other two. I'll keep one. Also picked up, and this was surprising, Castle of Shikigami 2. This is not something I was expecting to see in a discount bin overseas, but I got two copies. I'll offload one, keep the other. Final game, Guilty Gear Judgment. This one was hiding in the corner, almost didn't see it. Alright guys, so that's everything I bought over in Qatar. We'll be moving on to the actual unboxing. And I'm really excited about that because, like I said, I forgot a lot of what I ordered and it'll be super exciting to, to open everything up and hopefully I have room for everything because games are starting to pile up. I'll probably put these back in the, the trunk and then uh, stick them away into storage or something. But anyway, let's get that started.